우리가 걷는 모든 길은 보좌의 캠프라고 하셨습니다 우리의 여정은 주와 같이 길 가는 것입니다 찬송가 430장 찬송 드리겠습니다 주와 같이 길 가는 것 주와 같이 길 
시온성과 같은 교회 시온성과 같은 교회 주의 영광 아롭다 허락하신 말씀대로 주같이 세웠다 안성위에세 장 유강수 목사님 나오셔서 구역 공과 메시지 선포해 주시겠습니다. 어, 예수님께서 40일 동안 하나님 나라 일을 설명했습니다. Days, 예, 그런데 우리 성도님들이 제일 안 믿는 부분, 안 믿는 건 아닌데. 제일 어, 내게 관계가 없는 게 이거예요. But what is it that our believers find the greatest disconnect uh, in? It's this. 안 믿는 건 아닙니다. 뭐 예수님 말씀하셨고 성경에 있기 때문에. It's not that our believers don't believe this because Jesus spoke of it and it's already recorded in the Bible. 어, 이게 내하고 별로 관계가 없단 말이에요. But people think that this really has nothing to do with them. This camp of the film. 어떻게 생각하십니까? So how do you perceive this? 예수님은 40일 동안 설명했는데 나하고는 별로 관계가 없어요. Jesus explained this for 40 days, but this really has not very much to do with me. 이게 되어져야 영원한 응답이 되는 겁니다. However, only when we have the camp of the throne will we begin to receive the answers of eternity. 네, 이걸 믿은 사람들이 모여서 기도하다가. 이런 응답이 온 겁니다. The people who believe this gathered in prayer, and that's when they began to receive the answers of Acts 2:1 through 47. 그게 마가다락방이었습니다. And that was the marks of p e r u 그 조금 역사적으로 좀 이해해야 될 부분이 에, 복음 전할 때 언제든지 필박 받았습니다만은 초대 교회는 한 일곱 가지 상황이 있었어요. So you need to first have historical understanding of this. Of course, whenever you preach the gospel, you face persecution. But the early church experienced seven different of these kinds of instances. 예, 그때는 지금처럼 뭐 투표하거나 이게 아니기 때문에 국가 정치가 이 종교와 관계 있는 거예요. 
And at that time, they didn't have separate elections, and so we see that their national politics had a direct correlation with their religion. 어, 이러다 보니까 틀린데도 국가에서 하라 해야 돼요. And that's why even if something was wrong, if the state determined it to be right and be told you to do it, you had to follow along. 네, 그런 시대였습니다. It was that kind of age they were living in. 이 사람들이 이제는 복음 전하는 초대교회를 이단 누명을 세워 버린 겁니다. And the state declared that the early church that was preaching the gospel was a heresy. 뭐 역사적으로 한 번도 빠짐없이 그랬습니다만은 이제 초대교회 때부터 시작이 된 거죠. It was a false accusation. You see this all throughout history, but this first began during the early church. 자, 이 정도 되니까 끝나는 게 아니고 이 복음 전하면 어, 법적으로 구속시 But instead of just ending here, they actually began to take legal measures against these individuals. And how many people do you think would remain in their faith when they would have to face incarceration? But if they continue to go against the law and they continue to preach the gospel, then they would face execution. What would you have done when, if you were to be faced with this kind of situation? I think the vast majority of people would leave their faith. You're falsely accused as a heretic and then you're put to death because of your faith. And realistically, even societally speaking, they're cut off from society. So, what can you do about this? That's what happened to the members of the early church. And they even comprised these teams, specialized groups, to go out to arrest these members of the early church. It was that kind of dire situation they faced. What was even more difficult was that they even had the authority of Rome. They were using Rome and they were saying they are heretics. And when they began to do that, we see that Rome then proceeded to label these individuals and, uh, as heretics and persecute them for 250 years. And this was a kind of situation and situation context that the early church faced. Do you think that's what ends up happening? You know very well who prevailed in history. But at that time, as this was unfolding, nobody knew. Now, as we look back in hindsight, in retrospect, we know that the gospel prevailed. Now think about this to yourselves. You don't even know the outcome yet, and you're facing this kind of adversity. And, and that's why. And that's why we see that a lot of these people, they just fled. And Jesus even healed some of these people who were sick. If it were our case, then we would have said, because Jesus healed me when I was dying, now I would give my life for him. But even those people fled. We said Jesus performed miracles where he fed thousands of people with just five loaves of bread, five, five loaves of bread and two fish, but even those people fled. Just a small minority remained, but these were the people who were used for world evangelization. And what did Jesus give? He established upon them the partisan of the throne. Simply put, he gave to them that partisan of prayer to enjoy this mystery. He said, wait for the promise of the and that promise is the partisan of the throne. And 
여정을 얘기했어요. And he spoke also about the journey of the throne. 이 힘으로 가는 여정, 땅 끝까지 이랬어요. And what is the journey that we take with the strength of this throne? It's to the ends of the earth. 자, 이런 속에서요. So inside of this kind of situation, 예루살렘과 유다, 사마리아 땅 끝까지 이르러는 보좌에 이정표까지 설명을 했어요. He said in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. In other words, he also spoke about the guidepost of the throne. 자, 이게 믿기 힘들단 말이에요. And it's very difficult to believe this. 뭐 누가 믿겠습니까? 뭐. Who can believe this? 돈천 원보다 가치가 없지. You might even think that this is even less worth than even one dollar. 돈천 원 있으면 뭐뭐뭐 과자라도 뭐, 뭐사 먹을 수 있잖아요. At least if you have a dollar in your hand that you can see tangibly, you can go out and buy a snack. 이렇게 된 겁니다. But that's how people perceive. 그러니까 여러분이 잘 생각을 하셔야 됩니다. So you need to think very clearly about this. 근데 딱 믿는 사람만. And it was just a small gathering of people who believed this. 120명. 120 people. 120명 Everyone else fled, save for these people. 120 members. And this is recorded in Acts chapter one. These people gathered and began to pray. 그런데 세계 보험이 일어났잖아요. 저는 여러분이 이 축복을 누리고 이거 기도 시작하시라. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You must enjoy this. You must begin this prayer. 그러면은 모든 삶이 캠프가 되도록 해라. Then going into the main message, you must make it so that your entire life becomes a camp. 그럼 우리 가는 길이 전부 이 캠프가 되는 것입니다. Then every path you take will become a camp. 오늘 이걸 놓고 여러분이 좀 기도하시고요. 어, 이 사실은 눈에 안 보이는 것이기 때문에 불신자들은 전혀 이해를 못 하는 거예요. You must pray with this today because this is not seen to the eyes. This is something that unbelievers completely do not understand. 어, 믿는 사람들조차도 전혀 이해를 못 하는 거예요. And even believers find it difficult to understand. 그런데 하나님께서는 이 약속을 이 주셨는데 이 약속하면 소수가 로마를 이긴 겁니다. But this is a promise God has given, and the small number of people who believed in this promise were able to overcome all of Rome. 이거를 몇 가지로 봐야 되겠습니다. You must look at a few points regarding this as well. 왜 사실인가 이런 거. Why? Why is this the case? 하나님의 성령이 내 안에 임하기 때문에요. It's because the Holy Spirit has come upon me. 그래서 이렇게 말씀하고 있어. And that's why this is what it says. 하나님의 성령이 너희 안에 그 아는 줄 알지 못하느냐 그래서. In 1 Corinthians 3:16, do you not know that the Spirit of God indwells in you? 왜냐 성령이 그 아시기 때문에 하나님의 성전이요. 하나님의 성령이 너 안에 가는 줄 알지 못하는 줄. He says, "Do you not know that you yourselves are the temple of God? Why? Because God's Spirit indwells in you." 우리나라 대통령이 피난을 해가지고 부산에 있은 적이 있어요. There was a time in our not too distant past where our president fled and he had to go and escape to Busan. 예, 그게 6.25 때입니다. And that was during the Korean War. 그 이선 대통령이 잠시 머무는 곳이 부산의 그 아미동에 지금도 있습니다. And there's a place in the Amidong region in Busan where our president had fled temporarily. 그래 이제 가보니까 대통령이 쓰던 침대 뭐농 그대로 다 있어요. And I went there and I saw the bed chambers the president had used. There was, you know, closet, a wardrobe, a bed that he had slept in. 이제 뭐 역사관으로 보관하는 거죠. And they actually have it now as a historical relic. 그때 보니까 농을 이래 보니까. 여러분 보고 저도 안 가져갈 만한 이런 농이에 보니까. And I looked at the wardrobe, and if somebody were to give that to you now, today, nobody would even take it for free. 아 이렇게 이따 갖고나 하는 흔적을 남기는 거죠. It was so shabby, and yet they just wanted to now retain that as part of our history. 그런데요, 대통령이 있었으면요, 그게 청와대입니다. But if our president fled there even temporarily, that place is a presidential office. 초가라도 대통령이 있다 가면요 있으면 그건 청와대요. 
even if he goes to a more shoddy location, even if it's just a makeshift shelter, if he dwells there, that becomes blue house. That becomes a presidential office. 아무리 어둠막 집이라도 왕이 있으면요 왕궁입니다. And even if it's a small cottage, if a king resides there, even temporarily, that becomes a royal palace. 이게 무슨 말이냐? What does this mean? 여러분이 아무리 힘이 없고 가치가 없어도 하나님의 성령이 여러분 안에 거하시면 성전이 되는 겁니다. No matter how helpless you may be, no matter how vulnerable you may be, if the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you, then you are the temple of God. 믿으셔야 돼요. You must believe that. 그래서 보좌의 능력이 임하게 되는 겁니다. And that's where the power of the throne comes to rest upon you. 또 우리 모였습니다. And now here we are gathered together. 모이는 교회도 성전이기 때문에요. 예배할 때 예배할 때 보좌의 능력이 많은 겁니다. The gathering church is also a temple of God, and that's why whenever we give our worship, the Holy Spirit is also at work. 뭐가 임합니까? What comes to dwell upon us at this time? 요한복음 19장 30절에 모든 거다 이루었다. John 19:30 records it is finished. 그러고는 사도행 1장 3절에 하나님의 나라 설명하고요. And Acts 1:3 explains what things pertaining to the kingdom of God. 그리고 이 응답이 마가다락방에 온 겁니다. And this answer came to rest upon Mark's of our own. 오직 성령 너에게 마시면 건능 받고 땅 끝까지 정인이 되리라. Acts 1:8 But you receive power and the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. 어 세상 사람들이 가치 없이 보기 때문에. 여러분은 이 축복을 쉽게 받을 수 있습니다. People of the world don't find any value in this, and that's why you can you can receive this blessing all the more easily. 여러분이 하고 있는 자리는 다른 사람이 빼앗기서 노릴지 몰라도 이거는 뺏어갈 수가 없습니다. The position that you have been entrusted with in society, people may try to take that away from you, but this nobody can take away. 오늘 예배하는 중에 모든 성도에게 보좌의 능력이 많은 시간 되기를. We must pray so that as we give our worship today, it may be a time for the power of the throne to come to rest upon each and every one of our believers. 도저히 사람이 알수 없는 일이 벌어졌어요. Something that is unfathomable to humankind began to take place. 이 사람들이 이렇게 나왔는데 복음 이기지 못했어요. This is what they were doing, institutionalizing their authority and power to try to block the gospel, and yet they cannot do so. 여러분은 믿으셔야 됩니다. You need to believe this. 여러분이 가는 현장이 교회요, 보좌의 능력이 많은 겁니다. The field to which you go, that is a church. That's a place where God's power of the throne will come to rest. 예수님께서 마태복음 18장 18절에 20절에 We see Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 to 20. 두세 사람이 내 이름 모이는 곳에 나도 함께하느라. And I will be with in the place where even my believers gather, just two or three of them gather to pray in my name. 또 여러분이 그 최고 영달 받을 수 있는 현장이 또 우리 교회 성전입니다. And the place. Of blessings, where we can receive the greatest blessing of all, here is our church building. Yeah, 모이는 것도 교회지만은요, 우리가 예배당을 짓고 뭐 하자는 성전에 여기에 보좌의 능력이 많은 겁니다. The place where we gather, that also is a place of worship and a place, a temple of God. But this this church building itself, this place is also a place of worship for God. 그래서 결국 메이선 전쟁이요. And that's why, at the end of the day, it's a Masonic warfare. 우상 신전을 지었느냐, 하나님의 성전을 지었느냐, 이게 굉장한 전쟁이에요. It's a Masonic warfare. It actually stems down to whether you're building a pagan shrine to worship idols or whether you're building a temple to worship God. 그래서 왕들이 서면요, 하나님 모르니까 거의 다 모였습니까? 우상 신전을 지은 거예요. And that's why whenever kings rose to power because they didn't know God, the vast majority of them raised up these pagan shrines. 예, 그래서 우리는 성전을 짓는 겁니다. That's why what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish the temple of God. 이런 게다 지금 보좌의 능력이 임하는 현장이라고 말해요. All these places, it's a place where the power of the throne comes to rest. 그리고 교회는 보좌의 축복을 설명하는 그림자입니다. And the church is simply a foreshadowing of the power of the throne. 
어떤 면에서는 보좌로 가는 정거장이다 이렇게 말했어요. In some ways you can just see it as a temporary juncture heading towards the ultimate destination of the throne. 그래서 오늘 여러분이 참된 예배할 때 모든 것이 임하는 겁니다. And that's why today as you give your genuine worship everything comes upon you. 오늘 여러분 예배로 승리하시길 바랍니다. May you have all victory through worship today. 여러분이 응답을 받으시면 모든 것은 문제가 안 됩니다. If you receive answers then nothing can be a problem for you. 아, 나는 막 가족이 어디 상관없습니다. 여러분이 응답 받으면 아무리 안 좋은 가족이라도 살릴 수 있습니다. And you might say but my family is this way but it doesn't matter once you receive answers no matter how poor of a family environment you may be in it won't 그, be a problem 뭐, 남편, for you. 남편 안에 핑계 될거 없습니다. 여러분이 응답 받으시면 돼요. Your wives, your husbands no longer is that a, an excuse for you. Why? Because all you need to do is receive answers yourself. 누가 어떻다 뭐가 뭐 말은 많이 있습니다. 여러분이 응답 받으시면 돼요. There are so many excuses we can give somebody's this way or somebody's that way but all you need to do is receive your own answer. 그래서 여러분들이 24, 25 영원의 기도의 망대를 만드시라. And that's why now you must establish the partisan of prayer, the prayer of 24, 25, and eternity. 여러분이 이거 기도 망대 만드시면 됩니다. You just now need to make the partisan of prayer of 24, 25, and eternity. 예, 오늘 언약으로 잡으셔야 됩니다. May you hold on to this as your covenant today. 요셉이 응답을 받으니까 요셉이 이 능력을 누리니까 노예로 가도 괜찮아요. Once Joseph held fast to this covenant, once Joseph received this answer, even if when he went as a slave, it wasn't a problem. Yeah, 현실 보고 소음 안 됩니다. 누명 쓰고 감옥 쓰고 갔는데도 괜찮아. He must not be deceived by your present reality. He was falsely accused and he was incarcerated, but it was fine. 더 놀라운 것은 총리가 됐는데도 이 축복을 그대로 누리고 있어. What's even more astonishing is the fact that he rose to the position of being the governor of the times, and yet he enjoyed this blessing exactly. 오늘 여러분이 힘을 얻으시길 바랍니다. May you gain strength 여러분이 today. 응답을 받으셔야 돼요. May you receive answers. 그러면 다 해결됩니다. Then everything will be resolved. 여러분이 어디 있든지 보좌의 능력으로 임하시는 이 성령의 역사를 누리면 여러분 때문에 다른 사람도 삽니다. Wherever you may be, if you enjoy this uh, blessing of the, of the filling of the Holy Spirit enough so that you can enjoy the power of the throne coming upon you, you can save everyone. 이걸 모세가 늦게 깨달은 거예요. And we see that Moses realizes late in life. 모세가 왕궁에서 성공해야 될거 아니냐? I shouldn't I succeed in the royal palace? He thought. 맞는 말이죠. He was right. 네, 80대 때까지 성공이 안 되는 거예요. But until the age of 80, he couldn't achieve any success. 80대 되는 날 모세는 이걸 깨닫는 겁니다. And when he reached the age of 80, he finally realized. 그래 40년을 더 살았는데. 모세만큼 응답을 많이 받은 사람 없어요. He lived 40 more years, 그렇죠. and there was no one else that received as much answers as Moses. 그저 자꾸 나이 많은 사람들에 대한 그 그게 우리나라 좀 문제가 되는데요. 후진국이라서 그래요. We often harbor a lot of prejudices against uh, the elderly, and, and, and that's the case for us here in our country. The reason that's because we are, our thinking and our perception is still very undeveloped and unsophisticated. 일본 가면은 거의 노인들이 거의 100% 일하죠. When you go to Japan, a lot of the elderly, the retired, they're still working. 100%까지 너무 심한 말이지만요, 100% 일합니다. And you can't say 100%. Perhaps that's an exaggeration, but close to 100% of the people of the elderly population continue to work. 여러분 프랑스 가 보면요 정말 옷 멋있고 교다는 사람들이 있습니다. And if you go to France, you see a lot of people who are dressed very classily. 거의 다 노인들입니다. Most of them are the elderly. 멋을 입는 단어서 양복 잘 입고요, 멋을 왜 입어서 노인들이요. They're dressed very elegantly, well pressed suits. They're all the elderly. 나이가 많은 줄 알고 모세가 저는 할 수가 없습니다. Moses, using his old age as an excuse, 아닙니다. said, "I can go on no longer." But that was not the case. 80이 되었어요. 깨달았는데 40년 동안에 최고 영감 누리세요. At the age of 80, he finally realized, and for the next 40 years of his life, he enjoyed the greatest answers of all. 그러니까 한 명이 응답 반대 그러대요. And that's what happens, even if just one person comes to receive the answer. 왜냐하면 세계를 움직일 만한 이 보좌의 축복을 누리기 때문에 여러분 한 명이 은혜 받으면 많은 사람이 살게 됩니다. 
And why is that the case? Because you're enjoying this blessing of the throne that is enough to move the entire world. That's why even if you, one person, enjoys this blessing, the entire world, many people come to life. There is one thing you must keep in mind, though. And remnants, you must also keep this in mind. 여러분이 큰 일을 하려고 하면은 큰 문제도 와요. When you try or attempt to do some great work, great problems will come your way. 그래야 그큰 답을 찾지요. Only then can you arrive at great answers. That's why. 또 여러분이 진짜 하나님 이름을 쓰시려고 할 때는 여러분의 배경이 And when God determines to truly use you, perhaps your background may not be in the most conducive condition. 진짜 쓰시려고 하면 배경이 좀 어려울 수 있어요. If He truly determines to use you, then perhaps your background may not be the most ideal. Remnant 일곱 명이 다 그랬습니다. All seven remnants were that. 그런데 이 보좌의 능력으로 세계를 보고 말씀. But by the power of the throne, they still carried out world evangelization. 만약 굳게 잡으셔야 돼요. May you firmly hold on to the covenant. 지난주도 얘기했죠. 우리 권사님들. I spoke of this last week as well. All of our senior deaconesses, you must hold firmly onto the covenant. 그래서 나이 많은 사람들은요 더큰 은혜 받아야 돼. And the elderly receive an even greater grace from God. Remnants는 미래를 놓고 완전히 망대 준비를 해야 돼. And remnants make the full preparation for the partisan as you have the future in mind. 혹 이럴 수 있습니다. Perhaps this may be the case. 병든자들이 이 하나님께 쓰임 받은 사람 많습니다. There are many people who are sick who are used by God greatly. 이런 것들은 싹다 하나님이 여러분에게 다른 사람을 살리는 증인으로 쓰시기 위해서 부른 거예요. All of these things are means by which God has called you so that He can use you to save countless numbers of others. 오늘 종일 예배하시는 중에 허감이 꺾이고요. 여러분 관계된 모든 곳에 보좌의 능이 나타나는 기도 하루 종일 하시기 바랍니다. As you give worship all day long today, may all the four stones crumble down, and may you continue to pray so that God's power of the throne may come and rest upon all the places affiliated with you. 오늘 큰 힘을 얻는 날이 되기를 주 예수 그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, that today may be a day in which you receive a great strength. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 하나님께 감사드립니다. God, we thank you. 오늘 예배하는 주의 백성들에게. 보좌의 능력을 허락해 주옵소서. Please entrust the power of the throne to all the believers who are giving their worship to you today. 사람이 빼앗아 갈수 없는 영적인 힘을 허락해 주옵소서. Please grant them the spiritual strength that no other person can take away from them. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.